Somebody's all bundled up like it's cold out or something. Beefers too. They're probably the ringleaders. Hey, hey. go back towards the barn, Hank. Go on. Hey. Okay, hey. bring them in. Got the gate open. Let them go back in. I think we ended up with about a 50%, 50% rate here. Go on, get in the barn. You know where to go. Hey. Beefers. Okay. I know there's one still down here on the edge of the barn. Get in there. You know where to go. Hey, come find you. Yeah, we got a couple out there. Hey, come on. Hey, get in there. Hey. There's one back there. Wish I had rubber boots on. <laughs> Maybe if you didn't have grandma shoes with no laces. I can send Brooklyn up and over top of the bunker there and she can push her down to you guys. You can get up on the bunker right over there. You guys get back. Go on. Get back. Oh my gosh. Me and my lovely lady are out here checking fence at. What is it? Feels later than it is. 801. 801 on this beautiful Thursday night. Out here checking some fence. Yeah, hopefully nothing comes out to eat us tonight. Uh, not armed for the usual, but you know. Oh. I don't know how much thought I'm going to put into it tonight because it's cold. It's late. It feels way later than it is. It's been dark now for like an hour. So, yeah, you saw us chasing cows there after dark. That was fun. I'd tell you if you're a dairyman and you're not pasturing animals and you're thinking about it, I'd just be like, you know, man, I wouldn't even bother. <laughs> the only reason we do this is because, well, it's what we've done forever. There's a saying that goes, I've heard it about firemen, but I guess you could say it about farmers too. Uh, how's it go? There's two things farmers hate. Change and the way things are. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Oh well. Looks like the chopper operator here missed a little bit. Our yields are gonna be way down because of this. I don't I don't think these this 10 stalks of corn is gonna make much difference. Yeah, we got we got some fence here. We've already checked all this, but we're gonna drive back through. Didn't find any along the cornfield here that's been down, so you know. I think we'll just call the night. I've got all the stuff in the gator here for the morning. I'll come out here first thing and really take a good look. Uh, this is times that, I, one, I either wish it was snowing so I could get on old Indy there and check out the fence, or, uh, or two, I wish I had a four-wheeler. That would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, hey, let's check this corn since we're right here. See what we got. 
She's ready to be combined. Not really. Not. If it was like that, it'd be ready to be combined. You know you can't try some. It's gonna be a little bit screwy because it's messed up. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. You guys so good at Spanish, Phil. All right. Uh, yo, no habla español. <laughs> You need to repeat for the camera what you just said to me. Ooh, let the cows out. Moo, moo, moo. You gotta keep her. Brooklyn the rapper. Now listen here. No getting out tonight. Well, folks, we're into the next morning here. Somebody's all bundled up like it's cold out or something. And, uh,. We're gonna head out and really look over the fence here so that we can make sure that these heifers don't beat me and jerks and be getting out. So that's what we're up to. Thanks for watching along. Well, folks, down where they've been getting out, down here next to the swamp, had a little, little barbed wire down because this friggin' tree wanted to fall down on my fence. We'll get her cleaned up, back in service. You like this makes coming over here worth it. A little fog coming over, sun coming up over the horizon. Nice chilly morning. Yep. Don't need you anymore. Let's throw you on there and then we'll actually be able to see something out of this little funny hood mirror. Starting up another day of chopping here. We're slowly getting her done. We're short-handed this weekend, so we're getting started at noon instead of nine or 10, like we hoped to. But of course, I got home late from that darn concert last night, so I was a pretty much no help this morning because I was sleeping until almost nine, which I hate to do that, but my God, I was just freaking tired, but whatever. Thanks for watching along. All right, folks, down here at the shop, I'm gonna throw the welder on the fork, throw a strap around it, take it up to the barn, and we gotta fix a gate that's uh, leaning over that I tried fixing a long time ago, but I didn't get to it, so we're gonna get her done today. <laughs> Folks, I got the job done. I'm gonna piece back on that tin there, make it look a little better than it does. I'm not gonna get real close to those welds because I kind of don't want to show them to you. So, uh, not my best welding job ever, but it is what it is. So, got the job done. Post here is sturdy, very sturdy actually. So, this job's done. We're gonna move on to the next. I'd say these pants were getting a little bit tired, just got a little rip in them. Shucks. Just got a quick gate latch to weld back on over there on that post. I'd say this M fits like a glove in here. Just right. I couldn't go any farther though. I started hitting a pen up there, so that's that's where she sits. That'll be plenty enough cord. I'm gonna bring the skid steer in through here with the forks still on it and leave the welder right on the forks um, and then be able to go back and forth and whatnot so
latches all back together. Works like a charm. Just gonna leave these caps back here for a minute. Uh, did one pass vertical up, one pass vertical down. So a little bit more than what was on it originally when it was welded up because Dad was trying to get this done quickly. So there's just a couple little pieces of weld on both sides. I don't think it really was enough. So probably did overkill, but probably won't have to come back and do it again. So uh, that'll be good. Let's get the old lamp shut down here. And we'll get packed up. Be the last odd job I do today, I think. Hey folks, thanks for watching along this video. You saw we had some cows out, got a little chopping in, did a little welding work on some gates and whatnot. So really appreciate you watching along. Remember to like, subscribe, and eat your dairy products. Have a good day.